vibe so deep Our reality is giving our lives a meaning Rap so deep Our reality is giving our day a lift Directing our part Enlightening our world Rhapsody of reality Has come to change our lives forever. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This February, in our year of the word of God, we are reaching you from South Africa. Yes, we are coming to you all the way from the Rainbow Nation, South Africa. Join us every day for a fresh revelation in God's word contained in our messenger angel, Rhapsody of Realities. No matter who you are, no matter what color Amen. you are, no matter where you are from, faith is the law and it will work. Works. Tomorrow only belongs to those who take a hold of today. Stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome, dear viewers, to another splendid episode with the Messenger Angel. We know it's going to be an exciting time, so stick with us throughout this episode. And obviously, as usual, I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Mona Lisa. Welcome, everybody, and thank you, Deborah. Today is Monday, the 6th of February, and yes, we have just begun another new week of supernatural blessings all the way. And we are so excited to be on this program and especially so encouraged by the feedback we receive from you, our dear viewers. Not only from watching this program, but the impact the Rhapsody of Realities is making in the lives of those that come across this messenger angel Amen. from all around the world. Absolutely. Uh, recently we've received a praise report about the e-Rhapsody mm. all the way from Israel. And you can have a look at that praise report. It's at the back of your February Rhapsody. And Jay Mills from Israel says, My awesome experience with E Rhapsody. He says, One good thing about the E Rhapsody is that it gives me the word on the go. Glory to God. Praise the Wherever Lord. Wherever he is, at work, at home, you have the word of God with you on the go. It's also an easy way of sharing the word without any hassles. In my home, the word has taken dominion. Glory to God. Amen. Thanks to E Rhapsody. Right on the spot, I can get everyone to participate with me during times of devotion. Finally, he says, the E Rhapsody doesn't get lost or misplaced. Personal. And it's made it easy for me to access previous editions of Rhapsody of Realities. Study time is now pleasurable with my E Rhapsody. Wow, I that's can really awesome. I relate with what he's saying. You Absolutely. know, when you have a copy of the E Rhapsody on the go, like you, you, you remember a message that inspired you in, in, in a previous month. That's you can right. just go back, instead of having maybe to wait to get you back home to the library or find your copy of the Rhapsody, with the E Rhapsody, you can actually just check it there and there Absolutely. and re make reference to those copies of the previous messages of the Rhapsody of Realities. Right, right that there. moment. And it just makes life so sweet and easy. Oh, yes. But we encourage you to have your copy of Rhapsody of Realities and make sure that those around you also have a copy of Rhapsody of Realities. The Rhapsody of Realities is really changing lives and everyone that comes into contact with it, it brings a revelation that really changes their life. And you know, Rhapsody of Realities, like we've just said, is available in many formats, the e-format, mm -hmm. it's even available in audio format. Mm -hmm. You can even get it in braille for the visually impaired. So I encourage you, we've got everyone covered when it comes to the Rhapsody of Realities. Make sure that you and those around you have your copy. And the Rhapsody is actually also available in 148 Eight languages. And we're still counting. So there's no excuse when it comes to the Rhapsody of Reality. Amen. It's available for you in whatever means and whichever way you want to have it. Well, today we have another opportunity of being uplifted and getting even more glorious and having a more fulfilling day today as Pastor Anita shares with us a very exciting message which we are really and so excited to share with you after the break. Stay tuned. In a world of over six billion people is a number one bestseller. It's in every continent and in every country. 
and communicates the realities of God's Word in the simplest and most effective way in over 140 languages of the world. Now everyone can understand the wisdom of God. Get your copy of the February edition of Rhapsody of Reality's Daily Devotional today and enjoy God's Word like never before. You can call the numbers now showing on your screen or log on to www.rhapsodyofrealities.org to place your orders today. Rhapsody of Reality, giving your day a lift. So the seed of love. Pastor Anita is sharing a beautiful message with us today. It is Monday, the 6th of February, and you're about to receive a word that can change the way you think about yourself, the way you think about others, because this is a very, very important word that she shares with us today. Her opening scripture is Deuteronomy 28, verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath. Hallelujah. I like that. It doesn't say you will be above sometimes. Mm -hmm. The Bible says you will be above only. only. And it's quite All instructive times. that in this reading, this reading is about sowing the seed of love, but it's quite instructive that the scripture that Pastor Anita put in there was this scripture in Deuteronomy, because this is all about how you see yourself in mm. relation to your world, mm. that it's not about wanting to get love from others, but when you see yourself as the blessed of the Lord, as the one that God loves, you've already got what it takes to be a blessing to others. You are above, oh, yes. you are not beneath. Oh, yes. You have everything you need inside yeah, of you. Already. All the love, all the friendship, all whatever it is that you are, you think you're in need of. In Christ, it has been given to you and you can start to see yourself as a blessing to others wherever you go. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's so encouraging because, you know, she, it says that you'll be the head and not the tail. Because yeah. with love, love conquers. Amen. Love is above all things. Amen. Love is the greatest. Amen. The highest calling when you walk in love. And so you're above everything. Hallelujah. You're above everything. You have an, an understanding Amen. of the heavenly nature of the Father. That's because right. God is love. And when you, when you yes. have that understanding and you're walking in the manifestation of that nature that is inside you, you're above all. Oh, beautiful. You're, abo you're above all. And therefore, you are the head yeah, and not the tail. Time. And you, you're above only. Amen. Everything else is, is, uh, is little, is, is of, of no essence because you've achieved it, the greatest Amen. You can actually take that scripture that says, greater is he that is in me than oh, he yes. that is in the world. Oh, yes. Greater is the love in me than any hatred oh, or any yes. negative thing that can come from the outside. So greater is the love of God in you. Mm. It can conquer, like you said, any situation that you face. The love of God is the victory way. Hallelujah. Pastor Anita actually shared with us in previous um, Rhapsody readings of this month about love, the, the highway, highway to victory. You know, and that is the truth about the love of God. It's not just a sentimental, nice thing that we tell people, oh, God loves you. No, love is God. So God is, is the most victorious mm. being. He is victory. Mm. He is life and he is love. And so love is a very powerful force. It's not just, oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. There's something very powerful about love. When you operate in love, you operate in God, and therefore you cannot be defeated. It's love powerful. Love is for always. Amen. At all times. Forever. Forever. Once That's you right. attain that dimension of love and walk in it, you, you can never be anything else. Oh, Glory God. to God. Pastor Anita begins, and she says, Some people get frustrated whenever they feel unloved or unappreciated by others. And you know, you can actually pause there for a moment and think, have I been in this situation? Because you know, when I read this, I could put myself in some of these situations and it began to minister to me. She says, some people get frustrated like that. Then she says, this is because they depend on others to make them happy. You're depending on others to make you happy. And when they meet people who don't seem to care for them, they feel mm. crushed. That's not God's dream for oh, any yeah. believer. Oh, yeah. You see, he's given you an antidote in that situation because all of us are faced with that situation. Unfortunately, in this life, you're going to find people because you're going to come into contact with worldly people who are, do not know the love of God. You're going to mm -hmm. find people that don't like you mm -hmm. and they, they, they will base it on maybe futile reasons. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is you're going to come into contact with people that initially might not give you the response that you wanted or treat you in a way that you feel that you deserved. What she's saying is that this is not God's dream for you 
to be moved by such things. Instead of waiting for people to care for you, He wants you to be the one to care for others. And that you, is very powerful. What, what's amazing about that is, you know, like when, when it comes to love, what I always, you know, meditate on when it comes to love is that, you know, once you offer the upper hand of loving somebody, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, a, it's a force field that will attract that person to love you anyway. Yes. So you don't have to wait for others to care mm. about you or for others Amen. to actually show that mm. love towards you. You have to have the realization of the nature that you have within your spirit because love Amen. is a fruit of the spirit. Amen. You have to come to the understanding of the nature of God that you have within inside you because God is love and you're a love child of, of a, a love, love God. God. So what you do is you manifest that which you have inside you. Amen. And as it outflows out of your spirit and outshines in, in everything that concerns you, That's right. it's a force field that will cause everything else around you to Amen. attract that love towards you and automatically they will love you. Amen. So you can begin it. You don't That's have right. to wait from somebody else to to show it to you. Yes. You can just start loving people. That's right. Show them the love of God. And that love of God will cause them to also Amen. realize that love is the greatest gift. Absolutely. And you know, the Bible says like in the book of the, the first epistle of John, it says we have known and believed the love that God has for us. For you to be able to love others, the greatest thing you need to understand is God's love for you because there's no mm. way you can reach out to love others until you know. The Bible says that he, um, we didn't love God first, but He mm, loved yes. us first. So you need to realize that the love of God has been shed abroad in your heart. You have His love flowing to you every oh, second, yes. every minute of oh, every yes. day. You don't need, there's nothing that you need from any person. That's the truth. Absolutely. The devils maybe lie to us and say, because so and so doesn't love you, you're depleted. But once you come into Christ, that love tank that people speak of, it is filled by the love of God. There's a love that God brings that no human oh, being yes. can give. And when you know that, you can start to become that vessel of God's love to other people. You don't need to have them fill up your love tank because you can have the love of God flowing to you every second, which it does. It's time for you to start to acknowledge and say, God loves me. The Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only son. There's so much in the scriptures that tell us about God's love for us. And it's time that we start to become conscious of God's love for us Absolutely. because that is where our victory Hallelujah. lies. Because faith works by love. Mm -hmm. And when you know God loves you, you know in this situation I cannot mm -hmm. fail. God's love is ever toward me. Mm -hmm. And when someone treats you bad and you think shame, they don't know God's love. You start to get that attitude like Jesus. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. And you start to become that channel, that vessel of love to the world around you. And that's what God wants because he's called us to be a blessing. And you know, there's something that love does. Love gives you a confidence. Yes. It gives you a confidence that rides above all things. You have an assurance that no matter what it is you might have done in that situation, no matter what might be going on around you, no, having that full knowledge and understanding of God's love. Amen. It gives you confidence in every situation. That's right. You, you, you don't pull back, you don't sit aside, you don't right. try and feel lonely, you don't try and feel I'm not accepted. Mm. You feel acceptable at all in times. His love. You're Amen. confident in his love. Even in, in a situation where you feel you've done wrong towards somebody and you're not too sure how to be behaving in, in, in their, their presence, presence. Mm. and what to do. But with God's, God's love gives you confidence at all times wow. to be the best you are Amen. at every moment. Amen. And that way you can never have a dull Amen. moment in your life. You can never feel lonely. You can never feel left out. You can never feel like, oh, so-and-so is not treating me well. So-and-so is not loving. Because you have this confidence in you Hallelujah. of the love of Christ. Amen. Oh, the, love, the Bible says the grace of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The, the love, love of God. God. Oh, the praise love the Lord. of God that we oh, have. Oh, hallelujah. Knowing that assurance. Hmm. And that's the same love you now sow to others. You now show them that love Amen. that you have, Amen. that you have an understanding and a knowledge of. Amen. Oh, I mean, when you when you have a knowledge of the love of Christ, God. there's nothing that is impossible. <laughs> there's for you. nothing. Because perfect love casts out fear. Yes. 